hello this is Frida welcome to my channel okay um, I bought these yarn at the Rehan Charsisu and I was trying to describe what kind of yarn it was it's called Nako Elite Baby Moor and it's anti-peeling peeling that's the reason I bought it because it's anti-peeling and the color matched what the customer wanted me to knit it with so um I searched for this pattern and let me just show you okay so this is the baby blanket that she has and unfortunately her uh, when she washed it it got ripped I'm going to fix it when I go back to Edmonton but um, meanwhile she wanted uh, extra because she, this is the baby's the baby is two years old so um, she just wanted to have a duplicate just in case of an emergency. So I'm going to be knitting this. And I searched and I searched and I found this. Um, when you go to Ravelry, I found like when you write down knit uh, basket weave patterns, this comes up. So, and this is the closest one that I found and the measurements that I'm supposed to be knitting her so I have to be careful with the measurements it's supposed to be be uh, 32 by 33 okay so I have to be very careful when I'm knitting I need to measure while I go so when you uh, when I uh, when I search it this is what I found on Ravelry and it's a, fr a free pattern so when I clicked it it's a yellow house uh, she simple reserve, reserve um, reversible basket weave blanket so yeah two sides are the same but I'm gonna be doing the pearl on the edges instead of one knit one pearl and one knit on the pearl and do the opposite instead of doing that it's gonna be pearl all the way as which the customer requested oops where did my picture go here we are here's the picture as you can see this is pearl size so i'm going to be doing that i'm just gonna put this link if whoever wants to knit this uh, baby blanket there's a pattern because everyone asks me do you have a pattern do you have a pattern <laughs> Okay, I found a pattern but I'm not gonna follow up this one because the measurements I don't know if it's gonna match what what my customer wants so I need to be careful with my gauge so uh, if you want to I I will put the link below if you just in case if you want to knit this this pattern with this uh, instruction because I'm using a different yarn you know and it, it won't match so, okay so the yarn that I'm going to be using it tells me to um, knit with a knit with a 4.5 millimeter crush, uh, knitting needle but I'm going to be knitting it with uh, with a five I have a five leak leak leaky uh, circular knitting needles so I will start with them and I'll come back and I'll show you how I will start okay so I was looking at the second picture and I noticed there's a total of 11 boxes across and here the purl stitch is about 12 stitches so 12 12 is 24 and each box is 10 stitches so 11 times 10 is 111 110 110 11 just need to do some multiplication and just wanted to show you how this happened even if it's fixed it's not going to be like the way it was right the, these handmade baby blankets are very delicate even when you put it in the washer you have to be careful to dry it like over there I washed uh, a bolera because I, I saw some stains on the yarn when you're knitting unfortunately that happens as soon as I washed it the stain is gone 
But uh, just to point out, lay it flat like this under a towel. And uh, yeah, hand knit items are very, very delicate. Just to point that out. Okay, so I have figured it out and I'll come back to give you the numbers. Like I can't follow a pattern because I have an example here. I have to follow this. Unfortunately, yeah, like this one, she says she only knitted with uh, two skeins of, so uh, skeins of yarn. So that's a tiny, tiny blanket. And unfortunately, none of them give out measurements. Like, I don't get it. So mine has to be 33 inches cross and then 43 inches long. 42 inches long so I have to be cautious try to figure out the multiplication so I'll come back with the numbers I have done my multiplication my adding so it's about 11 boxes that I'm going to be knitting knit purl 10 stitches each so that's 110 stitches and the edges are 12 stitches each so 12 times 2 is 24 so I I need total of 134 stitches. Total 134 stitches. Okay, this is how I do my um, do my uh, like I don't follow patterns because the customer gave me dimensions, right? So I need to figure that out. So I did cast on my pen in kind of. So I did measure, I cast on total of 134, and when I measure it, I haven't knit it yet, I have to knit and find out, but um, it's over 34 stitches so far, 34 inches so far wide. So let me knit a couple of rows. I'm just going to knit two sides, or purl, about, I believe it was 11 rows, as yeah, 11 rows. Let me just go back and figure that out. Lots of adding and, uh, yeah, here it is. Here is the second picture she sent me. So, oops, sorry about that. So when you count, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. The last row is uh, lined off. So eight rows I'm gonna be knitting a purl stitch and then I'm going to be dividing the baskets knit purl this is a knit stitch purl stitch knit stitch and so on about 11 boxes I'll come back to show you